Is this a bird? Is this a plane? Is this the gargoyle or hyena? No, it's the supermodel and an English aristocrat that we are all supposed to look up to now. A sex symbol called Cara Delevingne. Of course, this is another coded name for this uh, lab MI, MI6, MI5 created creature with this fake uh, painted on eyebrows uh, or transplants. Let's check the news. Cara Delevingne appeared befuddled and out of sorts as she stepped out in Los Angeles on Sunday afternoon. Exclusive video footage obtained by DailyMail.com shows the model 29 acting strangely and making funny faces in public as she went into town to pick up some magazines and stopped at two fast food joints. The British-born actress was also spotted at a parking lot where she spent considerable time rummaging through her belongings in her cream-colored Audi. She later took a moment to fix herself a smoke using a hand-roll and tobacco. Cara, who is known for her eccentric style and demeanor when she's not posing, on the runway or red carpet was dressed down in white tank top, gym shorts and sneakers. At one point she stopped at the jack in the box before emerged with different clothes, ditching her navy blue for what looked like a white pair of men's boxer briefs. So of course all these uh, jack in the box, etc. everything is staged on purpose everywhere she poses and what appears on the screen everything is carefully uh, picked and chosen because jack in the box means devil and that surname de Levine, actually is an anagram for devil jen uh, so Anagram is when you uh, change the order of syllables in a word, if you didn't know. So, the pictures are, of course, horrible. It's a terrible uh, case of uh, demon possession. I'm a Londoner. I'm a Londoner. Look at that arm. Like I showed you in the pictures before, in my previous video, where I showed uh, this uh, former 1980s actress uh, that was half Scottish, half Jewish, uh, that she was wearing exactly similar tank top and she looked absolutely fabulous, unlike this one, that is a creature from the lab. And of course, it all looks uh, suspicious and disgusting and uh, legs look absolutely awful and of course there was some Daily Mail staffer who was uh, picked to defend her eat what they whatever they they identify as
It looks like it is 50 year old, for, to be honest. And you see these crosses in the background, and the particular, uh, it's Kilim, and particular time has some meaning in numerology. The rose tattoo, symbol of death, hook. Also, the tattoo of the hook. Like holy moly. Looks like a man to me. The forehead and temples look really suspicious. Of course, these creatures have no eyebrows. The eyebrows are fake, of course. It constantly does something with a tongue like a reptile. Jack in the box. Shoelaces are untied. Snake on the arm. That's a supermodel and English aristocracy, guys. Okay. That's the high standards of Great Britain. And the best of the best of MI6. And she tried to sexually harass this brown lady. Because it's a lesbian or something like that. Men wouldn't get away with it. Let's read the comments by, uh, by Daily Mail readers, mostly British. Why is this woman a supermodel? She looks totally average to me. Is this how low female beauty standards have dropped in this country? You'll see much prettier looking women, young women on an U.S. city street corner. Agree, wouldn't look at her twice in the street. Crack is the whack, and I think they use the term supermodel too loosely. I honestly do not see how she is a supermodel. She does clean up well. Well, she's definitely using said. I hope someone helps her before it's too late. See all the all, all he, the adjective used in this article to cover up Carl's drug bunch. Instead of covering it up, he, get her the help she needs and i agree with comments here that she is a predator who is vile and creepy around other women gross she drops that face mask on the dirty pavement that put it back on her face uh, by the car lol uh, that kid needs some help post a child for drug rehab well i thought the same as everyone else on here she needs help She's been acting erratic and bizarrely for months now, clearly on something. Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it is not. Or maybe she's just a creature and she falls apart without the donor, blood donor or organ donor or stem cell treatment that they usually do like that other Justin Bieber creature and tries to camouflage this with some skin condition or, or drugs. Appears she may have overdone her quote diet pills, what she refers to as her diet pills. Rehabs looks to be in the near future for her. She always was a junkie, no surprise there. There are the type of people that well that become famous nowadays. No tail on just nepotism and drugs and casting the and casting couch. 
I still wonder how did Kara get a role in H.W. H. Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein movies, though I have an idea how. High as hell, she's gone downhill, needs help and detox. Stop doing drugs, girl, so much money and so little class. Don't do drugs, kids, drugs. First of all, this whore is no supermodel. She looks like she just crawled out of the dumpster on skid roll. <laughs> she is also pulsed with Amber Heard, which makes me lose her even more. Wealthy family with influence and useful contacts, that's how she became a supermodel. Better looking, gorgeous, working class girls don't get a chance she was given and she's throwing it all away on drugs and booze, she'll die young. Meth is hell of a drug. Heroin or crack, the noise, the noise drills speak volumes. Yak, meth, meth rash on legs? She looks like she's on drugs, certainly getting the body of a draggy, often looking legs and feet. Look at her eyes, she's out there like Pluto. Supermodel got the job only because she's an aristo. If she came from a housing estate, she wouldn't have got a foot in the door. Math, it's awful. Her legs tell the story. Yes, a story about psoriasis. People need to stop saying those bruises on her legs and arms up, psoriasis. They look like track marks from injecting her or her heroin or meth. And from the way she looks, it's more than likely the case. She is emaciated and looks like Peaches Geldof or Amy Winehouse looked when they were on her heroin with all the track marks all over their legs and arms. She needs help, otherwise she sadly end up like they did. It's psoriasis. No saying she's not on drugs, but though, but she's not. This is not track marks. Oh god! Oh goddamn bug bites! But also she seems high on something. Definitely not psoriasis or eczema. She looks like she's really strung out. She looks like she lives on Skid Row. She's sad. She actually looks like an addict. She's on drugs and has been for a long time now. That's messed up. She looks smelly. Heroin is a hell of a drug. Just ask Bieber and his wife, one of Kara's friends. H hope she gets real help soon. Somebody needs to intervene because she has sores all over her body and is tweaking. She is addicted and needs help. Like most models, she's, uh, she's on either meth or crack. She looks like she's really strung out. She looks like she lives in Skid Row. Looks like more than half the people I see in downtown San Francisco on daily basis. Crack is whack. The marks on her leg might be psoriasis, but worth keeping in mind that drug use also causes itching. Psoriasis doesn't cause weight loss and behavior drug l drugs do. Kara is on drugs. You can tell by the bizarre and awkward way she's acting. Also, look at the marks on her legs. Very telling. Oh boy, the sores don't lie. Very sad. Maybe it's meth. Maybe it's maybe lying. <laughs> Definitely on mess. In six months, she will look look 50 years old. That, my friends, is called math. She's as high as my last grocery bill. Oh no, looks messy. Yeah, strong Courtney Love vibes when she was on crack pie, but what on earth are those bruises all over her body? I hope those aren't track marks. Holy crap, look at all the bruising on her legs. If that isn't sign of substance abuse issues, I don't know what is. Girl, your liver is literally crying right now. That stuff on her legs is definitely psoriasis or eczema. 
that behavior has definitely that someone who's been up for days on math, ex edic who also has psoriasis. Who knows? Maybe the flare up has something to do with using meth. Does horrors to your skin? Can't a girl run errors while hiding all drugs and peace anymore? She definitely has a problem with drugs and alcohol, and I think she does them regularly, daily. The paparazzi got a picture of her dropping a bag of cocaine before. It dropped out of her sleeve, I think. It's called drugs. She has been using for many years. Modeling and drugs go hand in hand in the fashion industry. I hope she gets the help that she needs. Living in her car with her possessions, legs all bruised, swollen belly with stick thin legs, unfocused and bizarre behavior. That's really only one conclusion. There is, she's on drugs and a lot of them and this isn't going end to end well. She needs help. She's clearly on drugs again. It's amazing how anyone pays her to model. Basically, she pays them with whatever and she gets drug tokens. They wrap you around the little grabby fingers in that industry while threaten to drop you at any second, demand all luxury expenses repaid. I take it she has reached this stage about now. Supermodel, what a joke, ordinary at best. Crack and meth user pick their skin. It gives some people urges to pick uncontrollably, even though... Uh, they are bleeding. Her psoriasis stuff is probably her public cover. Ringworms. I also see ringworm. Track marks. Do you remember when any wine house had red marks on her ballet shoes? They look like bad bite, bad bug bites. She probably passes out in some mess then. Someone please help her with her psoriasis patches. All she needs to do is use cold tar. She's having some substance use issues. Taking after her mother. Looks more like monkey pox. I used to really respect her. All levels of Western society are collapsing. Speaking of which, pictured, first monkeypox patient to go public is a gay HR manager. That's what you call an MI6 employee, I guess, from London who was deported from Dubai just weeks ago for testing positive for HIV and he claims he still hasn't been contact traced. That's a typical MI6. James Aim has spoken out after claiming he's still not been contacted despite testing fortnight ago. HR manager, 35, suffered really weird aches in his lower back, exhaustion, extreme thirst and bladder pain. Thinks he caught virus from one of the 10 sexual partners in the weeks before his symptoms started. UK health security agency officials claim they have tried and failed to get in touch with James. James was readjusting to life in West London when he began suffering from a really weird aches in his lower back, exhaustion, extreme thirst and pain when he used the toilet. He became convinced he had a sexually transmitted infection. After sleeping with around 10 new partners in the weeks before his symptoms started, I'm a gay man and having just come back to the UK, I was having a good time, he told Mail Online. But medics wrongly assumed it wasn't monkeypox because he didn't have the virus's telltale rash. James had just returned from Dubai, where being gay is illegal, after four years following a shock HIV diagnosis in February. It saw him lose his job and home.